I have the hard top setting on there and you can see there is quite a bit of gap and that's due to the first step here. The first step will be making cutouts so that it can seat properly around the wiper blades there. So what I did is I centered the hard top and then I marked where the wiper blades are. I'll be cutting that out and then it should fit nice and flush on there. So I bought some aluminum and I'm at a friend's shop. He happens to have aluminum welders, so I'm just getting started here. Now, all Humvees are standardized and they say that that means they're never the same. In my particular case, the roll isn't as narrow as some of them. So as you can see here, I have some straps around here. And what I plan to do is to bolt it to the runner there that holds the soft top and then anchor it to the A, B, and C pillars on either side so that that bend seals correctly. Besides that, what I have is a piece of one by three box in there to help shim the front. I'll have a one by three in the back to hold it down there. And I'll have to fabricate some sort of clasp to hold it in place in front and back. As you notice, we cut out a little bit around the wipers there and then we fabricated in pieces there to keep the wind from blowing through and give it a nice finished look. Now, because I use the soft top window frame, I had to put a one inch spacer there. So that is a piece of one by one aluminum. And then I'll use weather stripping and sealant to seal up that crack that runs along the front drivers and passengers door there. Once we Completed that, or I guess at the same time, we also welded gutters on each side there, which is one inch angle. That runs the entire length of the vehicle. On the inside, we welded up a piece of one by three, and that will keep it from sliding backwards. It rests against the C-pillar there. Then on the front up here, we also used a piece of one by three right up there. That one by three fills the gap between the hard top and the soft top window frame. And then we also have a piece of eighth inch, two inch flat there that we welded to keep the hard top from sliding forward on this. And there's one on either side there. Now, of course the welds are really ugly and we're gonna polish that up and finish it up nice. So that has a nice look when it's done. Now here's what it looks like when you take the hard top off and lay it on its back. This will give you a much better idea of how we welded this together. On either sides, you can see how we welded the angle iron to the edge. That's the support beam that runs across the back against the C pillar. Those scuffs right there are where the B pillar rubs. And here is where we have our A pillar. Now, as you can see, there's about one inch gap. So we have that one by three in there filling the gap. And then we have a lip on the front side and we also have a lip on the back side here. And that will keep it in place so that when we attach it, it won't slide around on us. Now, as you notice, there's some red spots on it and a few marks. What we've done after we got all welded together is we've marked any imperfections, like that one will need it to be ground down. Most of the welds we've already ground, but wherever we've ground and had to fill holes, we actually used glazing putty. And there's the glazing putty we used right there. We'll go back and sand that smooth so it has a nice polished finish. A few of the welds were a bit too thick to fill with a glazing putty, so we actually used JB Weld steel stick, and we filled that in with steel, as you can see right there. And then we'll go back with a sander as well and sand that all smooth. So if you have any recommendations of things I should do before I get it painted, please post them in the comments section before our next video and I will try to get those attached and welded on. And any modifications you suggest that I can afford and that'll work well for my Humvee will be considered. So thank you very much for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you get updated when part two comes out. Part two will involve painting and attaching the hard top and then a good walk around so you have an idea of what this hard top looks like when it's finished, painted, and installed. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day.